Time now for this hour's car review. Mr. Morris has a 2024 GMC 1500 Sierra that he's going to talk about. Did I tell you the 24? I don't know. Well, I probably did, but it's actually the 2025 Buick, I mean, 2025 <laughs> GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. Now, the this is part of the fourth gen. It was actually introduced in 2019, so they keep updating and keep kind of tweaking things up. Actually, it has eight trim levels on it, with the Denali Ultra being at the very top. So this is a full-size pickup. This particular version will seat five. So you've got all kinds of things that make it the luxury truck it is, the power folding side mirrors, got power adjustable uh, steps that actually work. I mean, they come out, they're good to step on, to step up into the vehicle because it's running on some 22-inch wheels, so it sets up a little bit high. Had the GMC Multipro tailgate. Now, this is a six-way tailgate that drops down, got speakers in it, all kinds of cool things. Power sunroof. Power rear glass that opens up and closes. But when you get inside of it, just whenever you really find the luxury, leather seating surfaces, the front seats are vented, the uh, front seats and the rear seat outer settings are heated. The front seats also have massage settings on them. And the rear seat is a 60-40 folding rear seat that's got under seat storage built into it. It's part of a package that you can add on to this vehicle. Now, we had a 13.4-inch diagonal screen in the center stack there that makes it very easy to see things, understand what you're doing and stuff. Some of the buttons are kind of small. you got to kind of look for them, but with that big screen, it makes things a lot easier. The driver has a 12.3-inch display in front of him that we used to call a gauge package, but there's also a 15-inch diagonal heads-up display. Now, this is plenty of stuff up there in the windshield that you can set up and you can use, and it has the rear camera mirror on it. I've come to love that thing a whole lot because of the way it, the the width, the yeah. how big a view you can yeah. get out of that. Those are cool. Now, we also had the smart charger with, it's got a nice slot in front of the console for your phone to fit into, and it has a 12-speaker Bose premium audio system in it, so it kind of fills it up really nice with sounds. Now, under the hood, we had the 6.2-liter V8. Love this engine, 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque, plenty of power, Plenty of speed, 10-speed automatic transmission. And this vehicle, it's not the biggest, but it will tow 8,900 pounds with the trailer and package that wow. we had included in That's it. pretty good. Haul rating is 1,710. Uh, these half-ton trucks, they haul 1,700, 2,000 pounds are amazing. Curb weight on this thing is 5,350, so it's a nice, big, heavy truck. EPA says in the city you should be looking for 15 miles to the gallon, Highway 19 oh. combined 16. Now, GMC does recommend premium fuel for this particular engine. Hmm. I got 19.6 over 138.9 miles. Not bad. So most of mine was out on the highway, but I'll take it all day long. We also had the Denali adaptive suspension. So it almost makes you feel like just going down the highway almost makes you feel like you're no longer in a truck. It's very nice. Got plenty of quiet glass and uh, insulation in it. So when you turn up the audio, you can drown out any road noise that you got. Now, a base model for a Sierra, Sierra is 45995 Wow. But a base trim for the Denali is 67395 Our MSRP, with a few <laughs> options that we had, and it is the top-of-the-line ultimate, $86,805 for this full-size truck. <laughs> hubba, hubba. But now, if you want to look for something to compare it to, of course, you got to look at the Ford F-150, the 2025, uh, for example, the STX. Uh, based on its 42,915 compared to the 45,995 for the GMC. Silverado 2025 1500 crew cab, 42,700. The Ram 1500 2025 crew cab is at 43,025. So they all start about the same place. Mm -hmm. It kind of depends on what you want to put yeah. into it and how much you want to doll it up and how what you want to get out of it. But they've all got wonderful choices to uh, make them great vehicles. So if you're looking at some of those big three for the trucks, you need to absolutely look at the truck. GMC. Good-looking truck. Today's in World Time Car Talk. Show.